Recently, a Chinese space telescope produced a terrifying discovery. Three Atlas, an interstellar object entering our solar system, isn't just glowing, it's pulsing like it's alive. Worse yet, it's moving in the direction of Earth with lifelike signals, engineered fragments, and biological residue. This isn't a comet, it might be a message. The Chinese telescope that saw what others missed. On July 1, 2025, a beginning of a quiet revolution in space science. Not in Houston, not in Berlin, but at China's Purple Mountain Nanjing Observatory. AIR's Global Telescope looked up at the heavens for celestial activity. Chinese astronomers spotted something different, a fast-moving object that was later found to be three atlas approaching the sun. However, most people regarded it as just another interstellar comet, the third of its kind after Amuamua and Borisov. China's instruments told a deeper story. 3 ai In contrast to its predecessors, Atlas was more than just ice and cold rock following a predetermined course of action. It had a pulse. China's thermal spectrograph, a highly sensitive instrument capable of detecting micro variations in emitted heat, picked up a subtle but undeniable internal heat signature. Additionally, that heat was not static, it pulsed in perfect, repeating cycles. Not like the chaotic releases of a melting comet, but with the regularity of a biological rhythm. Imagine a heartbeat or controlled breathing. The data appeared more like physiology than geology. The object was moving, these thermal pulses stayed steady, unaffected by its changing distance from the sun. That broke the rules. The traditional driver of comet activity is sunlight causing surface heating and letting out gas. But here, the energy was coming from inside. It behaved like a self-regulating system, as if something within was maintaining balance, adjusting output, maybe even responding to its surroundings. Whereas ESA and NASA pointed their instruments toward the object's composition, examining the usual cocktail of ices and dust, the Chinese team focused on the country's emissions. The shocking discoveries they made stunned the international astronomical community. The rhythmic pulses aligned with known metabolic intervals, cycles commonly observed in microbial respiration and cellular regulation on Earth. That finding could not be ignored. Within 24 hours, cross-national alerts were issued. The global community pivoted to review their data once more. Then came the words that lit the world on fire. Among China's leading astrophysicists, one went public, stating, This object may not just carry life, he stated bluntly. It may be alive. That quote spread across scientific forums and media outlets like wildfire. Suddenly, 3 Atlas was no longer a comet. It was a mystery, perhaps even a message. The implications were staggering. If true, it meant we were no longer looking at a rock from another system. We were examining a living system, or even worse, a constructed, intelligent one. The difference between a comet and a probe could change how we see the universe forever. And that change was just beginning because the next thing China observed suggested more than just life. It challenged our definition of what life might be. Atlas is Earth's first visitor from deep space. We've seen to others before, Oumuamua in 2017 and to I, Borisov in 2019. Both were remarkable, but both relatively quiet. Amuamua tumbled oddly and reflected light in strange ways, while Borisov behaved more like a classic comet. But 3 Atlas is different. From the moment it crossed into the solar system, it broke the mold. This wasn't just a speeding ice ball from the void, it was doing something no comet should do. The first clue was in its heat and light emissions. Observatories tracking Atlas, especially in China, reported structured pulses, bursts of radiation in the infrared, and photonic flashes that happened so frequently it was unbelievable. These were not erratic solar spikes, interactions, or outgassing. They were predictable, measured, like something that knew it was moving through an environment and was responding to it. That is function, not behavior. The chemical breakdown followed. An examination by spectroscopy revealed a CO to H-CHO ratio far beyond anything observed in local comets, 
In our solar system, the majority of the components that make up frozen bodies are balanced, but here, carbon dioxide was overwhelmingly present, a chemical imbalance that raised questions. Was this just the result of forming in a cold, CO-rich environment, or was it deliberately preserved, like the controlled atmosphere of a capsule? Instead of just sublimating ice, Atlas seemed to inhale solar energy and exhale it in. These pulsations weren't erratic like those from comets falling apart. They were consistent, almost rhythmic. It didn't melt, it breathed. Something beneath its surface was generating cycles, using a specialized biospectrum filter designed to search for lifelike molecular signals. Chinese scientists detected resonance markers closely matching amino acids, molecules that form the basis of proteins and DNA. This wasn't just chemistry, it was prebiology, a structured chemical fingerprint that hinted at something not alive but possibly meant for life. Dr. Shanta, a senior director of research, who nailed it perfectly at that moment, said, We are not examining leftovers from another system. We're examining a delivery method. This could be a spark. The idea shifted quickly from academic discussion to global headlines. Was this object carrying the seeds of life? Was it an alien artifact or something even stranger? A biological messenger drifting from one solar system to the next. And then, just as the world began to ask those questions, three Atlas changed course.